Jacob, Paul, how you guys doing? Doing really good, thank you. Good, how are you, Julian? Uh, dudes, this is an incredible film. I mean, just blew me away on so many levels. Nice. Let's start with uh, Charlie Kaufman's script. I mean, so brilliant. What was it about the source material that made you want to do this movie? I really love the story. I mean, I, I think the characters in it are just so sweet and genuine and and really relatable too and very, very real. There's a there's a really, you know, a big heart to it that I think I'm I'm really excited for people to watch. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and it's unique too in that this hasn't really been fully explored yet, um, oddly enough. There's been so there's so much content and so many stories told, this still feels unique and original and both the book itself was and then of course you get somebody like Charlie Kaufman who's an outside the box sort of thinker and storyteller. It's a really cool creative marriage and, and I really believed in this team of people from Jacob to Sean, our director, to the voice cast and the animation team. It's This movie's a full course meal and uh, it's a meal for everybody, you know? You know, this handles existential crisis for children. I mean, it goes in a direction I've never seen before, honestly, for a film, you know, geared towards uh, young people. So for you both, what can you tell their parents to let them see a film like this, have a more complex experience? I think it's a movie that people's children will grow into. I think if you're five years old, it's going to be a little, uh, it's a bit much to assume that they're gonna appreciate the, the ins and outs of the story itself, but they'll certainly be un entertained and probably find things to laugh at and, and have fun with. Uh, but I think around the time you're 9, 10, 11 years old, it's gonna really start to hit. And even in teenage years, I think it, it will resonate in a really meaningful way as, as young people get older and continue to watch it. Yeah, I 100% I agree. I mean, the whole, the whole part of, the whole start of the film at school, I think I, I really related to, and I think a lot of people will be able to relate to. And, and yeah, just like giving a face to, to dark, I think is just really, really clever and gonna help a lot of little kids who have that, that fear of the dark, yeah. Oh yeah, maybe it'll help them, I don't know. Maybe kids who are afraid of the dark will feel less afraid. If that was somehow the effect of our movie, that would be about as good as anything we could hope for in an outcome. You know, you know, when you're doing, you know, voiceover work, you're kind of playing submarine warfare because you don't really see what the end product's going to be. You know, yeah. you have like pre-vis and storyboards and so on. The animation is spectacular in this film. What did you think of the final product once you saw it? That was a really good analogy, by the way. Submarine warfare for for recording. <laughs> that was awesome because yeah, you, you don't you don't see what you what you're doing. I mean, you just you kind of have to fill in fill in blanks sometimes. But yeah, I mean, it's I think it's a really fun process the, the whole animation and just recording it all and, and, and putting it together and then hearing your voice afterwards uh, is really neat yeah yeah it's an interesting situation to be in where you where you're kind of having to be more imaginative and and embody what you're doing and then hope that it lines up and I feel like it did I really I really love the movie and I feel like it, it turned out really great so, you know, this is going to be debuting on Netflix, right, as opposed to being in theaters. Why is a streaming platform better for a material like this, for both of you? I think it's good because um, more people are going to be able to, to, to view it. I, what I love about it is that the rewatchability, too, will be, is really good on this film to, to rewatch it and show it to their kids. And I think it's just one of those, it's, 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 it's a work of art, you know, it's really, really beautiful. I think mm. you could take a screenshot of every second of the film and it's it just somehow would just be a beautiful picture. So um, it's really, really well done in that way. So so yeah, I think it's gonna be exciting for people to access it really easily and then be able to watch it again. Yeah, I'm a pro movie theater guy, but I think that was the best answer as far as like visibility and getting to all different types of audiences. And then the, mm -hmm. the replay rewatchability of Netflix is really a gift because you can catch things that you um, maybe didn't catch the first time or relive your favorite moments, which who doesn't want to do that, you know? Bravo, great film, guys. Thanks for your time. Thank you.